recently I had a very good conversation with my good friend Leroy about the DC Universe and uh, the new Star Wars movie Rogue One and through that conversation I actually learned something new I actually learned that Leroy and I actually are on the same page when it comes to our opinions on episode 7 The Force Awakens. And Force Awakens was just episode 4 told again. I 100% agree. I was, like, I was totally I was like, and it was a sprinkling of some of the others but yeah, yeah I know I agree and I was actually I didn't know where he stood on that I mean I actually learned that through that conversation and it's it, it's it's good to hear that from the standpoint of I normally interact with people including my brother who <laughs> who are all over the force awakens man who are all over that movie who just love it love it love it say that it is like the 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 best star wars movie ever and you know i mean all these folks who are just all over episode seven the force awakens and you know episode seven the force awakens was the um the jj abrams directed version of star wars it was the after it it was acquired by disney and uh you know everyone thought the star wars was dead and there was not going to be any more star wars movies and lo and behold bam you know we got announcements of multiple star wars movies over the next few years anyway leroy and i both agree that episode seven was just this money making farce I mean, seriously, I I don't know any other way to describe it, man. I mean, uh, on its own, if you look at the movie on its own, I mean, the, the acting was good. I mean, the the, the 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 story was good from the standpoint that it was it was it was interesting. But when you look at it in the lineup of all of the Star Wars movies from Episode One to Episode Six, it doesn't fit. It just absolutely does not make any sense, you know? I And I, I feel like this was the first time, this was the very first time that we actually saw a Star Wars movie re, re, revert to the, the overused formula that Hollywood has been using for years of making a sequel that is basically the same as the first movie you know I mean <laughs> you see that time and time again in Hollywood where a movie will be successful uh, Home Alone uh, uh, Karate Kid whatever it may be and the studios want to make a sequel so they basically retell the exact same story but they change some characters they you know it's it's obviously new dialogue and all that sort of stuff but the but the entire story itself is the same and that's exactly what happened i don't think there's any way to deny that that is exactly what happened with episode 7 i mean the story is episode 4 the very first Star Wars, A New Hope. It really is. It's episode four told all over again. And it was done, I think, to cash in, you know, to make money. Now, granted, you look at the story itself. I, I don't I don't have anything to uh, uh, criticize in terms of the actual story itself well because we've, we've seen the story you know i mean it was it, it's been done before the story itself but it doesn't fit it doesn't fit in the in the, the the chronology of all the other star wars movies episode one two three four five six were all different stories man you know they were not retold so i mean there's a lot of george lucas haters out there right there's a lot of george lucas haters but one thing that you have to admit is that every single star wars movie the original star wars movies were unique were different told a different story told advanced the story in in a way and they never went back to what had worked in the past to try to redo that that's one thing i give george lucas props for it was actual real storytelling this was not man i mean i i, I don't even have to this there's there's a, a lot of folks out there who have 
gone through the uh, comparisons of episode four and episode seven and and how it, it's basically just a, a rehashing and a retelling of of episode four i don't need to to go through all that that entire list there but uh um you know, so I, I think that that's 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 pretty well accepted that that's what it is, um, and I just I, I feel bad for the Star Wars legacy. I really do, because up till now, I mean, whether you liked the acting in some of the previous Star Wars movies, whether or not you liked how thick the the the, the story was or whatever it may have been, you know. Yeah, but the, 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 the arc of the entire story from episode 1 to episode 7 I think was brilliant man it told the story of a little kid who grew up lost in, lost his mother lost things in his life was scared of that loss and turned to the dark side and became this this evil evil man and his son actually pulled him back from from all that evilness you know I think it's a brilliant story if you look at it in its entirety and certainly I even myself criticize you know certain episodes and certain aspects of certain as episodes so I'm not I'm not saying everything was perfect but if you look at it in its entirety wow absolutely beautiful and there was no reason I think to go back to um, to back to what had worked in the past be original you know be original I'm hoping that with these uh, future installments episode 8 and 9 that they're gonna take it to an original place I really do hope so um, but uh, man I just uh, I was very 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 disappointed in episode 7 the force awakens so anyway just my two cents on star wars the force awakens so with that my friends my people stay rooted 90 degrees to the earth one love